Welcome. You have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review would be the blackening. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let's get into it. So this is the uh, first view review I've done in a while. Took a little break. Gotta get back in the swing of it and um, to making videos. Been watching some things. Um, so I start putting out more reviews. So let's start with this one. It's called a blackening. We can't all die first. Let's go over the cast before we get into it. So you got Grace Byers plays as Allison. Jermaine Fowler plays as Clifton. Melvin Gregg plays as King. X Male plays as Shanika. Dwayne Perkins plays as Dwayne. Antoine Robertson plays as Lisa. Antoinette Robertson plays as Lisa. St. Q Walls plays as Namdi. Jay Farrell plays as Sean. Yvonne or or Jay plays as Morgan. James Preston Rogers plays as Clive Connor and Camden Connor. George Fisher plays as a creepy old guy. Now, uh, this movie, I think people thought it would be like a parody or like a spoof. It's not neither to me, in my opinion. Um, it's going off of like, you know, the saying that how black actors don't last in um, horror movies. They're always the first to die. So this is like supposed to be a slasher horror film. Not slasher because it wasn't much slashing. But a horror film with um, people getting killed but then had humorous moments. So you got some college students who are having a reunion 10 years after school. Supposed to be meeting up in the woods cabin in the airbnb now you have two characters that was um meaningless that's morgan and sean played by jay farrell and yvonne orgy they were the first two at the cabin and they were together and so they get into the airbnb looking at things in the house they get up to like a room that's supposed to be like a game room has this weird Sambo game that tells them that they need to play. And when they uh, elect to play it, it asks them questions. If they get it wrong, someone dies. So right off the rip, one of them got the answer wrong. And Sean got hit with a bow and arrow. And Morgan was kidnapped or she was drug away so by this time the uh group started to arrive the next day and of course nobody was there they just went in the house and then it showed a scene where Shaniko she shows up to a gas station and uh, when she shows up to the gas station she sees Clifton and he looks real weird and suspect so right off the gates me just all the movies I watch I said already he's going to have something to do with the killers I mean with the ki you know something to do with the killers and this whole thing cuz he just seemed way out of place they didn't even know that he was coming and um the people at the uh gas station were looking real weird so they get to the place now this is an Airbnb I don't know why anybody would stay at Airbnb and don't come in and examine the whole house upon arrival, especially yeah, especially if it's house. Because why would you just be comfortable staying there and don't know what's in the basement? Don't know any spare rooms where somebody could be hiding out there? It just doesn't make any sense to me that somebody would just don't. So that's the you know. Um, uh, they put some stereotypes in there like, you know, black people ain't supposed to be scared. They more conscious. And you know how you be seeing those movies where you you be seeing the black people are yelling at the screen saying that what they wouldn't do. So it was just breaking a lot of that stuff. Overall, what ended up happening, um, the friends were, um, were wounded in the process of fighting for their life. 
the two the killers end up being um the weird people that they seen at the gas station that Shanika seen at the um gas station along with Clifton. You find out Clifton was behind it. Clifton had um hired those guys at the gas station to pull this off. The reason he wanted his revenge on them is because uh, one thing you also see, so spades is a um, household game that a lot of black people play, and you never see spades in a casinos and stuff like that. So going to college and um, uh, a lot of parties, uh, social events, you'll see folks playing spades. And so while they were in college, they played spades in Clifton, he wasn't from where everybody was from, so he ended up reneging. And everybody know if you renege, people would give you uh, a hard time because you renege. So that's what happened to him. So he took that night after they gave him a hard time, and he um, went and got drunk or got a little tipsy and got behind the wheel, killed somebody. He had manslaughter, so he held that against him. And so he wanted his revenge. So what end up, end up taking place is that they end up saving themselves and kicking um, Clifton down a well. So only friends that really died was Morgan and Sean. And really, uh, when it came to Morgan, you really didn't see her. When He had her chained to a chair, but then one of the... Uh, King shot at the door to open the door and then you didn't see her no more so you don't know if he really killed her I don't, I don't recall if they showed his body but he, nevertheless um, it was a, a okay film but it should have went something that should have went straight to like um, Hulu or something like that out of my four star rating system I give this movie a Two out of four stars, two. I can see somebody even going lower to a 1.5, but I give it a two. Um, nothing uh, to rush to go see, but you sitting back, if it went to Hulu or something like that, you know, decent enough to watch. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Till next time.